Hello friends and welcome to my channel, Kiwi's Collectibles. I'm Pam and in today's video we are thrifting at my two closest Goodwill stores to find treasures that I can use to decorate my home with or that I can resell. This Thursday night, December 2nd at 6 p.m. Eastern, I will be having a live sale on my friend Beth's channel, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. We will both be selling mostly Christmas items and there will be a few giveaways, so head on over to Beth's channel right now and make sure you are subscribed because you do not want to miss this sale. I will add Beth's channel link and our sale information in the description box. Now, go grab your coffee or grab your tea. We're going shopping. Look at this sweet little birdhouse. It is a ceramic piece and it was in great condition. It didn't have a price on it, so I didn't pick this one up. But wouldn't this be darling hanging from a dogwood tree branch in the springtime? I saw this tray and immediately thought of Lily Pulitzer. The patterns were a similar style, but this was not a Lily Pulitzer brand tray. It would be perfect though to serve drinks poolside in the summertime. I caught a glimpse of this gigantic coffee cup and I almost miss the bowl sitting inside of it. Check out this beautiful yellow four quart Pyrex mixing bowl. It's number 404. It was in amazing condition. And I had to check out that mug too, which I assumed was a planter. Let's take a look at this stein. It has a wood grain look to it, and it turns out to be poker peat. This vintage stein was made by Napco Ware, and besides being filthy, it looked to be in pretty decent condition. These four rice bowls and sushi plate sets were priced separately. They were made in Japan, and this is the Susaku Sound Collection. I believe this big guy was a cookie jar. It was huge. It had a fun look to it, and it was a little too large. I don't have that much counter space. Oh, hello, happy little pottery piece. That mug was priced too high in my opinion. I was interested in these salt and pepper shakers. They looked to be crystal and had a triangular shape that I liked. I noticed this canister. It looked like Wexford, but on the bottom it had the name Koozies. This one may be from the 70s or the 80s, and if you know anything about this jar, please let me know down in the comments below. These boxes are cute, but I have no idea what their purpose would be. Maybe Kleenex containers, but then you couldn't use the lid, so I don't know. I've decided to leave them behind. Oh, these salt and pepper shakers are great. They're rams, and I love that. It says they are a souvenir from Washington State, but can we stop and just appreciate their eyelashes? They are so cute. Look at this dish with the birds. 
what would you use this for? Maybe a water dish for your backyard birds or maybe you could keep your keys in it by the door. Let me know what you would do in the comments below. I saw this Tiffany style lighthouse lamp. These types of lights are always great sellers. And this one felt a little loose as I was picking it up and then I saw where glass had been broken. So I put this one right back on the shelf. Below the lighthouse, I saw two blow mold flamingos. Someone had spray painted them black and the paint was coming off. They looked terrible, y'all. These flamingos were vintage and signed by their creator, Don Featherstone. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell and set it to all. That way you will always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Plus, it helps my channel grow. I like the looks of this hammered planter. This brass pedestal bowl was stunning. I loved how it was footed with the silver plate. And I like the way patina looks on brass, but I bet this piece would look amazing after a little brasso and some elbow grease. This looks like a bamboo shower chair. These are great for a spa or if you need to sit down in the shower. This one looks like it has some cracked wood in places and it could use some TLC. Ooh, take a look at this picture. It was made in Italy and has such vibrant colors. It definitely looks hand painted. I like the shape of these bowls and I hope the $5.95 price tag is for the set of four. I've seen planters like this one before. Is it stoneware? Is it clay? I'm not sure. Y'all, this is a sweet little willow tree. If you collect willow trees, that price is not too bad, but if you want to resell this, leave it on the shelf. This is a Delft blue spoon holder. It has that classic windmill image and three slots to hold your spoons. It has a string on the back, so it could be hung on the wall. It had a lot of crazing, but it was in overall pretty good condition. This is another piece that I was surprised it wasn't broken, especially her arms. She has a beautiful blue bonnet with real lace on the edge, and her dress was made out of lace. Oh, y'all, this smiley face mug was so cute and in perfect condition. Y'all, I meant to put this in my cart, but I got distracted 
and completely forgot about it. These plates are what distracted me. Look at the rich color, the pineapple, the overall beauty of this plate. It was made in Portugal by Bordello Pinheiro, and it was a newer plate. You could probably find this at Home Goods. I always check out the boxes, y'all, and this one had three hand-painted pictures that were made in Italy. This salad bowl set had a lot of scratches on it, and it looks like it was part of a yard sale with the prices taped on the edges. I think this one was being sold for $1.99. That's a good buy. I just found some new old stock. This is a Dundee brand flannel crib sheet. It's in a Smurf design and you know I love Smurfs. So I checked this out on eBay and someone is selling the same crib sheet for $13,999. That's crazy. Maybe I should pick this one up. I don't have a lot of luck with strawberry canisters and this one did not have its lid, so I left it on the shelf. Nor did this tea for one teapot. This mug caught my eye. It's got a great shape and it is a pottery mug and it is signed on the bottom. I love this cross stitch piece. It has that southwestern feel to it and it has such soft, beautiful colors. What's in this bag? Oh, it looks like keychains from a company. Nothing special. I always love to check out vintage office supplies, but I don't need any of these, so I left them on the shelf for someone else to find. This is a gorgeous sweet grass handmade basket, most likely made in the Low Country in the Charleston area in South Carolina. It has a few condition issues, but nothing serious. This is a beautiful brass angel candle holder. Wouldn't she look perfect holding a gold fleck lucite taper? I thought this tape dispenser was something interesting. It's made out of teak by Kalmar Designs and I like the way it looked. The first thing I purchased that I would like to share with you is this sweet grass handmade basket. If you ever visit the Low Country in South Carolina, you will see these being crafted and sold throughout the area. They are exquisitely made and can be quite expensive. I am thrilled to pick this one up. Even with a few condition issues, it is still beautiful. 
I decided to pick up the Smurf crib sheet and will possibly sell it in the future. Not for $13,000, of course, but you never know. I love this tape dispenser and will be keeping this one. I love the shape and will be getting a lot of use out of it now that it is Christmas present wrapping season. I picked up this Rodolfo Padilla mug. Then I continued to find more of them as I shopped in the store. I found five in total, but I didn't find the wooden stand. These mugs use the wooden stand to stack neatly, like in this picture. I'm gonna keep looking for the stand and hopefully I can find one while out on my thrifting adventures. I am so excited that I found this Pyrex bowl. I almost missed it sitting in that huge mug on the top shelf. This bowl has barely any scratch marks and I will definitely try to sell this Pyrex bowl in the future. All right, everyone, that is it for today. Make sure you are tuned into Beth's channel on Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern for my live sale. I have listed Beth's channel in the description box, so head on over there and subscribe and get ready because Thursday is going to be a lot of fun. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Leave me a comment below and definitely leave me a thumbs up as it helps my channel grow. Until the next time, my friends, bye-bye.